This tutorial was made using Final Cut Express HD version 3.5.1. Welcome to this fourth Final Cut Express tutorial. A day, and my name is Craig. In this tutorial, we are going to be using the green screen effect. And the first thing we need to do, as usual, is get a clip, Command I. Oops. Command I. And I already have mine, that's it. But. Okay, so. Let me bring this into the viewer. It's a. It's a clip of a dog on the green screen. And we can uh, take out the uh, audio patch panels here. Because once again, we don't really need them. So we're not going to be used. And let's say it will do uh, four seconds. Out and we'll insert that or actually overwrite it. So there we go. Put the slug back in here and press Shift Z to zoom it. And there's that. And let's see. To uh, get a green screen, I made this green screen. I didn't even really made it, I just bought it. Um at a party city, I guess if you're in the US, I don't know if it's in any other countries. And just buy some cheap plastic table covers and you have a good green screen ready to use. So let me bring this back into the viewer, double clicking it. And we're going to load the chroma key you're in. Key uh, aid in the chroma key, more visual help. So we're just gonna use that. And now we get the key it out. So I'm just gonna do this. And you can see already that it started to the the checkerboard uh, represents transparency. And click this, and then you press the shift key. Okay, and you'll see that, oh, hold on. let me zoom in here a bit, if you take a look at the mouse, you'll see what happens when you press the shift key, that little uh, dot appears, the little plus sign appears, zoom back out, and shift, and you might actually even have to zoom in on the footage to really, I'm going to zoom in 200%. go so I'm just gonna slide this up Ooh. There we go. Alright, I know there's some parts where the dog's eye and nose is kind of keyed out too, but that's actually really good. So now we have this, so now we need to put something behind it. So, um, let me go get something and let me, I'll be right back. And we're back, and I found a picture of a clouds on Google. You have to remember, Google is your friend. So let me go get that. Press Command I, and it's on my desktop. There we go. Choose that, and we'll load it into the viewer. So we see that this is a huge file. It's only 13%. So. I'm gonna zoom in and animate it. So let me first thing first thing we actually need to do is bring this to the second track. Then we can insert this for it's four seconds long, so we need to type in here zero four and insert overwrite that actually. And that fits. Oop. Apparently not. The viewer. 
And we'll zoom that into a hundred percent. And where the animating comes in, see the center button here. Let me uh, Anyways, that's good. So now I'm going to press the keyframe button. There we go. And I'm just going to scroll right on ahead. Until we're almost done. Right about there. And I'll change the center. I guess that's good enough. So now we get to uh, play it back. Right, so let's try this first. Oh, well, that's good enough. Let me zoom out. And now let's watch. Zoom the camera in. Alright, here we go. And how does that look? Isn't that cool? That's a cool look using just a still image and a dog on a green screen. We make it look like uh, they're um, not exactly flying, but they're. It's definitely not looking like they're on the ground. That's pretty cool. So, uh, thank you for watching again, and uh, I guess you'll see the next one each day, hopefully. Thank you, and bye-bye.